Are you ready to challenge your wits? We'll give you a bunch of curious facts, and your task will be to guess whether it's myth or truth. One point is for each correct answer. Let's see who gets the highest score. The cute little carrots they sell at supermarkets are actually regular carrots that have been shaved down to this baby size. Fact or myth? Fact. Now, I hate to break it to you, but there's no such thing as a baby carrot. Strawberry-flavored gummy bears are red or pink. Is it a fact or myth? Myth. Well, sorry to say, but they're green. Brown rice and white rice are the same product. Fact or myth? It is a fact. The white variety starts off as the brown one, but then some parts of it are removed by milling, which gives the rice its white color. This allows it to be stored for longer, but at the same time reduces the rice's nutritional value. Now, on the topic of rice, it was used to build the Great Wall of China. Myth or truth? True. The builders mixed sticky rice soup with lime and got rice mortar for construction. It was stronger and had better water resistance than regular lime mortar. Thanks to the rice soup, the Great Wall has been able to stand for centuries despite the elements. You found a long-forgotten chocolate bar somewhere deep in your desk. Yum! Nice surprise! But when you open it, you hesitate. There's some unpleasant-looking kind of dusty film on it. Don't worry, though, it's still safe to eat. Fact or myth? Fact. It's just that the fat or cocoa butter used to make the chocolate has been separated from the rest of the bar because of the heat. As it cooled back down, it created this whitish film. The taste might be a little off, however, so it may be best to use it for cooking instead. And you'd have more self-control than I do. Avocados can't ripen while on the tree. Myth or truth? True. If not picked, they will simply fall from the branch while still not ripe. When picked, though, they will become soft and flavorful just like we love them. This happens because of the burst of ethylene produced by the fruit itself after picking. It's inhibited while the avocado is still on the tree. Tomatoes bought at supermarkets often have a weak flavor. Fact or myth? It is a fact. It has to do with how they're grown and stored afterwards. Tomatoes are gathered when not fully ripe yet, and they ripen in the transportation containers and on the store shelves. But if they're stored at temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit while not fully ripe, they lose a lot of their flavor. So to keep them tasty, it's best to store tomatoes outside the fridge. Honey is probably the only food that can literally never go bad. Do you think this is a myth or fact? Yes, this is a fact. If it's properly sealed with no air left in, it can go for millennia and still be edible. The oldest pot of honey ever found was 5,500 years old, next to the mummy of Winnie the Pooh. Nah, not really. While dark and milk chocolate raise no questions, their white sibling isn't chocolate at all. Fact or myth? It is a fact. It doesn't contain any cocoa powder, which makes chocolate, well, chocolate. The white variety is made of cocoa butter mixed with sugar and flavoring, usually vanilla. Peanuts are closer relatives to peas than to nuts. They're legumes, the type of plants that includes peas, chickpeas, and beans. Cashew nuts aren't nuts either. They're seeds that are collected from pretty large fruits. Do you think this is a myth or fact? Yep, this is a fact. The same can be said about walnuts, almonds, pecans, and pistachios. When you buy some sushi rolls with crab meat, what you get is no crab at all. Is it a myth or fact? Yep, this is a fact. 
The red and white stuff is what is called imitation crab, and it's basically paste made of fish. Its other name is surimi. By the way, sushi was originally a way to preserve fish. It was stored in fermented rice, which could keep fish fresh for up to a year. And after that, the rice was thrown away while the fish was cooked and eaten. If you get all tearful while cutting onions, there are several ways to avoid that. Do you think this is a myth or fact? Don't believe it. There are several useful tips to avoid any tears. One is put the onion in the freezer before cutting it. That will freeze the molecules of the chemical that makes you cry. Another method is washing the onion in cool water just before cutting it. The cold and moisture left on the onion will not allow the tearful chemical to get in your eyes. And the third way is to put a wet paper towel next to your cutting board. The chemical gets attracted to the nearest water source, which is usually your eyes, but in this case, it'll be the towel. Myth or fact? Yep, this is a fact. Now, the vast majority of wasabi we eat isn't actual wasabi. Is it a myth or fact? Yep, this is a fact. The real thing is very expensive. So what we get is just a mixture of horseradish, mustard, and green food coloring. Be careful when you eat fresh pineapple, because it can literally eat you back. It contains an enzyme that digests protein. Sounds like a myth, right? Wrong. That burning sensation you get when you've eaten a bit too much pineapple? That's it. Back in the 18th century in the US, mac and cheese was considered a cheap food for the poor. Myth or fact? Myth. Pasta could only be imported from Italy, which made it expensive, and the process of making cheese was time and effort consuming. It didn't make the product cheaper either. Only the wealthiest could afford a plate of mac and cheese, and it was served in the fanciest restaurants as a delicacy. Oysters, lobsters, and pretty much any other seafood, on the other hand, were considered food for the poor back in the day. Is it a myth or fact? Surprising but true. Seaside communities fed themselves with what they could catch in the sea, and that included mussels, crabs, and a lot of other stuff we consider delicacies today. Wow, I think if I ate mac and cheese with lobster right now, my head would explode. In medieval times, fish was considered a gift fit for a king. Myth or fact? Yep, this is a fact. English monarchs were known to be presented with huge pikes. And even before that, in the Roman Empire, fish such as red mullet was a delicacy that emperors paid for with large amounts of gold. Farmed salmon fresh is naturally gray. Wild fish eat a lot of shrimp, which makes their meat that trademark pink-orange color. Sounds like a myth, right? Nope, it's true. The farm kind is fed with a special plant pigment for the same effect. The inventor of petroleum jelly, Sir Robert Chesborough, never tested his product on himself. Myth or fact? Myth. The scientist claimed to eat a spoonful of Vaseline every single day. He also asked his nurse to cover him head to toe in the stuff when he fell seriously ill. He soon recovered and lived to be 96 years of age. All the while, he firmly believed in petroleum jelly's miraculous properties. It was a slick product. Oranges actually gave their name to the color we now know as orange. Myth or fact? Fact. In Old English, this color was called roughly yellow-red. Only when the fruit became widespread across Europe, the word that signified their color appeared. The smell of bananas deters bees. Is it a myth or fact? Myth. 
If you want to take a closer look at a beehive, make sure you don't have any bananas on you. The femorone that alarms bees to rise and protect their home smells like bananas, so you're likely to become their enemy number one if you get too close. Milk was once proved as a material for plastic. Myth or fact? Fact. It was biodegradable and non-soluble in water and virtually didn't burn. But it was later outperformed by oil-based plastic, because the milk-based variety couldn't be molded and became brittle over time. Also, the oil-based kind was a lot cheaper in production. A pound cake actually weighs one pound. Myth or fact? This is a myth. Pound cake got its name for the mass of its ingredients. It was originally made from a pound of butter, a pound of eggs, and, you guessed it, a pound of sugar. So it should be three pound cake. The most pricey pizza costs around $5,000. Myth or fact? That's a myth. The most expensive pizza you can ever get costs around $12,000. It can only be cooked by three chefs in your home, and it takes three full days to make. Um, do the chefs have to stay in your home? In ancient Egypt, laborers were paid with food. They got radishes, onions, and garlic as part of their wages. Is it a myth or truth? That's correct. These plants were known for their antibacterial properties even then, which made them pretty valuable. Cauliflower can be multicolored. Myth or fact? Fact. Although the most widespread color of cauliflower is white, it also comes in green, orange, and purple varieties. They're more difficult to cultivate than the white one, but aren't much different from it otherwise. As for the overall number of varieties of cauliflower, there are several hundreds of them. To easily test the freshness of eggs, Put them in a bowl of water. A fresh egg will quickly go down to the bottom, while a rotten one will float. Do you think this is a myth or fact? It's a myth. In fact, rotten eggs should float, and fresh ones sink. Brown eggs are more nutritious than white eggs. Myth or fact? Myth. There is no study saying brown eggs are healthier than white eggs. The only difference is the color of the eggshell. The color of the eggshell doesn't affect its nutrition or quality. That is related to the type of chicken. Chickens with white earlobes tend to have white eggs. Have you heard that a large amount of the dust in your home is actually decanted skin? Not cool, I know. Do you think this is a myth or a fact? This is a myth. You're not just mopping your skin flakes from the floor. Many other components make the house dust. Fibers, hair, building materials, mold, pollen, insect body parts, and ash are some of them, according to the study made in Canadian houses. This makes sense because a house nearby a busy highway or in a renovation area has more dust than a house in the middle of a forest. Skin is our largest organ. Is this a fact or myth? It's a fact. You might think for a second that the intestine can be quite large when you unfold it, but nope. Skin wins the contest. An adult carries around 8 pounds and 22 square feet of skin. Can't think of us without a skin. It's not just there to cover our bodies. It has an essential role in protecting us too. You can't breathe and swallow at the same time. Myth or fact? It's a fact. Maybe you already knew the correct answer, but you tried it anyway after reading this. So see it for yourself. So in your throat, there are two passageways important for your survival. I'm putting aside the fancy medical names and I'll refer to those two as airway and food pipe. They prevent breathing and swallowing simultaneously. Otherwise, food would enter the airway and cause severe complications. This doesn't always go as planned. That's why sometimes you end up coughing and preventing the piece of food from reaching the lungs. 
As well as having unique fingerprints, humans also have unique tongue prints. Is this a myth or fact? Fact! The human tongue is magnificent enough in its features that make us taste the food. It's also unique in its texture. People use biometric systems like fingerprints, voice scans, and iris scans for authentication. They are important to the identification and verification phases. Tongue print is unique, so it's very hard to copy it. It can be used as a biometric system tool too. What if people started using this system in their daily lives for safety reasons? Imagine locking a safe or your phone with a tongue print. An adult spends three hours in the bathroom every week. Do you think this is a fact or a myth? It's a fact! A poll by scientists reveals that an average adult spends 3 hours and 9 minutes on the toilet every week. This is more than the time they spent exercising. Take your sweet time, no need to rush. You swallow 8 spiders a year while sleeping, myth or fact? Don't believe it! Lucky for us, and for the spiders of course, this is not true. Fear no more and have a good night's sleep. Most spiders don't deliberately come near humans. Plus, vibrations coming from a sleeping person might be uncanny for them. Or maybe the spider just lives in the habitat. It thinks that you are flatmates sharing a room. As long as there is actual evidence, I call this a myth. Your thigh bone can resist thousands of pounds of force. Do you think this is a myth or a fact? Yes, this is a fact. People generally refer to it as tight bone, but its actual name is femur bone. This bone is located on the upper part of your leg. Experts say that this bone is hard to break. It's one of the two strongest bones in our anatomy. The first one is the temporal bone of the skull. If you wondered about the first one. Anyway, a tight bone can support 30 times more of your body weight. Maybe it's because the femur bone is the longest and largest bone in the human body. Do you believe that shaving your hair makes it grow back thicker? Fact or myth? Watch how I debunk that myth. Experts say shaving doesn't affect the thickness of the hair. The hair's head didn't remove, so the root is still there. You only shave the upper part. After a shave, the hair grows bluntly because it's been cut. That's why you may feel it's getting thicker. It's safe to eat food that's been on the floor for 5 seconds or less. Is this a fact or a myth? Sorry for blocking the best way you justify eating something that fell on the floor. There's no such thing as the 5 second rule. Researchers found that a substantial amount of bacteria transferred to the food within 5 seconds. The moisture of the food directly affects contamination. Imagine you drop a slice of watermelon and chips on the floor. I don't know why you're eating both together or how you end up dropping them both. But let's continue with this example anyway. The watermelon will have more contamination than chips. Because watermelon has more moisture in it. The surface of the watermelon is more open to transferring bacteria. Blondes and redheads may soon disappear. Myth or fact? An easy one, right? This is a myth. Red or blonde colored hairs are connected to recessive genes. They can be carried from one generation to another without creating the hair color of the carrier. If both parents have the correct recessive genes, the chances are high that the next generation will have blonde or red hair. These genes are rare, but populations still have those genes carried out so they won't get lost forever. For that to happen, Literally everyone on the planet who carries that gene must disappear. So, the chances are low. Drinking coffee dehydrates you. Is it a fact or myth? Myth! You can enjoy your morning coffee. Okay, you may visit the bathroom more frequently after drinking coffee. But it doesn't mean you're losing more water. There are numerous studies made about the effects of caffeine. Some of these studies reveal that drinking a reasonable amount of coffee a day doesn't increase the risk of dehydration. Eating yogurt helps your digestion. Do you think this is a fact or just another myth?
a fact, but with the right choice of yogurt. Yogurt is food containing probiotics. They are the good bacteria that make everything flow smoothly in your gut. Eating yogurt alone may not be enough to have a healthy digestive system. It supports the digestive system positively. Keep in mind, though, not all yogurts are equal. Some of them have sugar in them, or they come with toppings like candy or cookies. Go for the classic ones. Your hair will grow faster if you have it cut more often. Fact or myth? We were always told not to cry too much over the hair we lost because it would grow back faster. Unfortunately, the hair growth rate doesn't depend on how often you get a haircut. The average hair growth rate is 0.01 inches per day. Plus, many factors affect it – age, hormones, and even the time of year. Knowing this new fact may make some people postpone their hairdresser appointments. Well now, what's your score? Make sure to share it in the comments. There are plenty of awesome quizzes ahead. So consider subscribing if you haven't already.